longer is Rapunzel the bearer of healing sun magic. She now bears the burden of a magic that can end life itself. The incantation of the moon drop releases an evil power within Rapunzel. And by the end of this video, you're going to fully understand where this darkness came from. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watson Videos where we discuss fun topics for fun people. On my channel, I focus on spreading magic by examining Disney films, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. As a huge fan of Disney princesses and Tangled, Tangled the series is a show that mesmerizes me. It continues to surprise me as they build upon the lore of this colorful and intricate world, and I'm honestly always taken aback by the intelligent stories, beautiful songs, and the legendary moments that rival those in Disney feature animated films. And oh my goodness, when I first saw a clip of Rapunzel speaking the moon incantation, I was floored. Just the imagery alone of her eyes filling with black is something that seems more fit for horror films instead of a Disney Channel original animated show. But they took these moments to that dark place and I'm so proud of that team. The levity, darkness, and strength behind Rapunzel's dangerous magic is completely felt when she summons the evil power within her. But to understand how Rapunzel got to this place and discover this incantation, we need to go all the way back to a time before the birth of Rapunzel. 25 years before Rapunzel first used the moon incantation far off in a land known as the Dark Kingdom, a ruler known as King Edmund and his faithful, wise, and knowledgeable servants watched over a magical opal that held the potential to annihilate all living life from any kingdom. The Moonstone has the power to destroy the world. Together they pledged to keep the Moonstone hidden from outsiders for through all of their research and attempts to stop it, they found nothing that could end its destructive abilities. It cannot be stopped. Our only hope is to keep its power from the world. To ensure the opal is not placed into the wrong hands, before King Edmund passes away, he forms his followers into an organization called the Brotherhood, who are meant to do whatever it takes to safeguard the stone. Anyone who seeks out this opal must be stopped. A man known as Kirin, father of the alchemist Varian, a woman known as Adira, and a madman named Hector were all committed to this faction of warriors, but immediately they disagreed on how they would protect the world from this dark magic. They learned through their travels and studies that the magic of the sun drop had a power capable of stopping that of the moonstone. Its power could neutralize the moonstone. Kieran and Adira were willing to seek out the sun drop, but Hector was unwilling to believe a magic capable of stopping the opal could possibly exist. The members of the Brotherhood break apart, venturing across the world in search of more knowledge on ancient magics, the people who would use magic incorrectly, and the power that could neutralize the darkness. When Kieran left, he voyaged all the way to the kingdom of Corona, and it was here where he befriended the ruler of this land, King Frederick, and finally discovered the legendary sun drop. But unfortunately, this ancient power would be used to serve the king's family instead of the well-being of the realm. When the wife of King Frederick of Corona, Queen Ariana, fell ill, he furiously searched for a solution to save her and his child. Of course, the kingdom eventually discovered the magic golden flower that could keep the beloved royal family alive, but Kieran warned him of the negative consequences of his actions. I was warned. Taking the sun drop would reap unimaginable consequences. That by removing the light, I'd be awakening the darkness. Against the guidance of Kieran, King Frederick removes the sun drop flower to save his wife and newborn daughter Rapunzel. Since Ariana consumed the flower before Rapunzel's birth, Rapunzel retains the healing abilities of the sun drop within her hair, which can be summoned through the words of the magical golden flower incantation. In actuality though, the sun drop's power didn't only reside in her hair, but is always a part of who she is, even if it can't be as easily accessed without her golden hair. The sun drop's magic had been given to Rapunzel, but in the golden flower's place, a darkness began to grow. From the place the sun drop flower lived, massive black rocks began to spread across the land, and when Rapunzel met the rocks, the magic within them poured into Rapunzel. You are connected to them somehow, and I am responsible. From touching the black rocks, Rapunzel's hair regrew, but she couldn't heal people with her original incantation as her long hair once could. This was something different and was something I didn't understand. When I first saw her hair grow back, I was so confused by the properties her hair had. 
The long golden hair was now indestructible and seemed to be able to move and have a life of its own at times. And when Rapunzel would touch the black rocks, they would unleash massive amounts of energy. Rapunzel's regrown hair was mysterious and strange and I just couldn't comprehend why her hair would grow back without it containing a magic that could heal the world on her own. But I was not the only one who questioned the magic behind her hair. Ever since Rapunzel's hair returned in its new form, she had been in search of answers. Through her journey to find answers, she reads a scroll owned by Kieran, which allows Rapunzel and her friends to realize the sun drop, the black rocks, and the moon drop are closely connected. So when she embraced the black rock power, which revealed a path for Rapunzel beyond Corona's walls towards the Dark Kingdom, they were ready to discover what those connections were. It's like the rocks want us to follow them. To see my full video discussion of those powers when they were first revealed, you can find the link in the description. On the royal caravan's travels, they receive more pieces of the scroll from the Brotherhood member Adira and a hidden and protected vault known as the Spire as they move towards the Dark Kingdom, unsure of what their role will be when they finally reach that place. And eventually, those scroll pieces and the black rocks lead them to the Great Tree of Zontiri. This is where Rapunzel first spoke the evil moon incantation. While searching for a way through the great tree, Rapunzel and a few of her friends stumble upon a temple filled with markings of Zantiri, mystical scrolls and ancient writings. One of these texts held the translation for an incantation Rapunzel knew from her past. Powers shine. It's the healing incantation for the sun drop. This must be where it came from. I think Rapunzel is right here. Zantiri was a warlock from eons ago who was well versed in the practice of ancient magic. He had constructed massive curses and had once used his magic to corrupt the great tree they were in as his fortress. Within the tree, Zantiri was said to have been unstoppable, and it seems that while he lived within the structure, he had studied the ancient magics which allowed him to decipher the incantations that would release their powers. At some point, the Brotherhood or other seekers of knowledge, like Mother Gothel, may have taken knowledge from this place by stealing scrolls or recording the information on their own. But now that Rapunzel was here, she could finally learn about the other incantation that was deciphered and recorded, the Moondrop Incantation. Unsure of what power lied within the Moondrop incantation, Rapunzel begins to say the words to summon the power. Although at first she believes nothing is occurring, the others soon realize the life around them is beginning to die. It appeared Rapunzel was being consumed by her own words and she was unable to stop. Her eyes turned to black, the light of the world was being consumed by darkness and her friends' lives were being torn from them by the magic and words coming from Rapunzel. All of Rapunzel's hair turned jet black and Rapunzel was taken over by her evil words weeping as she continued. Her friends begged her to stop, but before Rapunzel could continue to emanate the dark magic any longer, Adira gained the strength to stop Rapunzel's incantation from continuing. By being knocked out of the trance, Rapunzel gained control of her consciousness again, but this would not be the last time she uses the Moondrop incantation within Zantiri's tree. Hector tracks Rapunzel's group to the tree determined to stop their journey towards the Dark Kingdom as King Edmund commanded. But because Adira believes Rapunzel has the power to neutralize the opal Edmund and Hector feared, Adira and Cassandra battle Hector. When Hector is defeated and comes across the heart of Zantiri's tree though, he decides to unleash the evil within the heart in a last attempt to stop Rapunzel and her friends. Believing her only choice to stop the sorcerer is through the dark magic she holds, Rapunzel sings the moon incantation again. By unleashing her full power, Rapunzel begins to destroy the massive and aging tree along with the spirit of Zantiri while also, of course, slowly ending the lives of those around her. Again, Rapunzel cannot control the power emanating from her. So, Cassandra tries to free her, but by touching Rapunzel in this form, her hand burns and turns to black. In horror, Rapunzel is able to draw herself out of the darkness of the Moondrop incantation. Determined to stop Hector and allow Rapunzel and Cassandra to escape the crumbling tree, Adira dives towards the tree's heart. Rapunzel's dark magic had weakened the tree so much though, that in the end, Zantiri's tree collapses. 
From Rapunzel's discovery of the Moondrop incantation in Zontiri's tree, we learned a great deal on the powers that derive from these ancient magics. Seeing Rapunzel unleash the dark magic from the Moondrop makes the moment where Rapunzel touches the black rocks and has her hair regrown become a lot clearer to understand. Removing the golden flower unleashed the power of the moon in the form of the black rocks, so Rapunzel's hair regrowing signifies to me that she has absorbed the moondrop's powers. But we had no way of knowing truly what that type of magic was until she discovered the moondrop's incantation. Just like the rocks, her hair is indestructible, is difficult to always control, and has the potential for grand destruction. When we originally learned the good-natured Rapunzel was tied to the black rocks and the moondrop, I leaned towards believing that their power wouldn't have to be purely evil. But now I find that difficult to believe any longer. While the incantation of the sundrop sends healing magic into the world, the moondrop appears to utilize dark magic to remove the life force from environments. Seen through the green energy of Zantiri, move through Rapunzel's hair towards her, and can overtake its summoners with its evil power. I thought the Black Rocks could be leading Rapunzel to the Dark Kingdom to purify them, but now that we know they can control the mind of those using their power, it seems they could be bringing Rapunzel to the source of the Moondrop's energy to corrupt or destroy her. But here's where Rapunzel becomes even more interesting. As we saw through her ability to save Eugene after Gothel stabbed him, Rapunzel still has some form of Sundrop within her. But now that we know the Moondrop's magic lives within her at this moment, then it appears she has a combination of both magical entities existing within her at the same time. And I think that will be important in her journey to come as she ventures to neutralize the Opal in the Dark Kingdom. Because of the decisions by King Frederick, his daughter Rapunzel became tied to ancient magical entities, and over the years since her birth, she has slowly began to learn about those connections. Through her discussions with the members of the Brotherhood and her discoveries in the Temple of Zantiri, Rapunzel has discovered the dark powers that lie within her. Even though at one point she was capable of sustaining life, she now has the incantation that can take it away. But now I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think Rapunzel is a vessel for both the Sundrop and the Moondrop? Was your mind blown with the reveal of the Moon incantation like mine was? Let me know in the comments along with any other ideas you have for future videos. To see me talk about Rapunzel and the wonderful and complicated lore of Tangled more, you can find my Tangled playlist and other videos I think you would love in the description. And if you'd like to continue to see more magical discussions like this one, then don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Watso Videos and to click that subscribe button and the beautiful bell if you're new. Thank you to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon who are amazing supporters of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.